Brazilian Muriel was on his way to work last October when his pregnant wife, Frankie Elena, suddenly started calling him. She said her head was killing her, Muriel recalls. I advised her to take a pill, but she replied that the pain was so severe that she was ready to lose consciousness. Frankie Elena had a severe brain hemorrhage. She was carrying twins, Muriel immediately rushed home, leaving his two-year-old daughter with her grandmother and, without waiting for the ambulance to arrive, took Frankie Elena to the hospital. I'm not going home anymore, his wife said in a trembling voice, I'll stay there. The frightened Muriel couldn't utter a sound. It really was the last time his wife talked to him when he saw her alive. She lost consciousness before they could get to the hospital. The doctors, after examining the woman's body, only spread their hands. The brain died, nothing more can be done. The twins' hearts will soon stop beating too. But it seems these two didn't want to give up. Although the woman's brain died, her body still didn't stop giving birth to babies. In medicine, this is called maternal somatic support after brain death, and this happens only in two. 8% of cases, and it does not last long, the maternal body still continues to function and transmit oxygen and vital components to the child in the womb. The doctors supported the babies, constantly monitoring their condition, because it was too early to do a cesarean, they needed to stretch out the time as long as possible. Muriel was constantly crying and praying to God to get his wife back. It was then that she came to him in a dream. Baby, I can't come back to you, she said, I'm in a good place now, but you have to be strong to take care of our children. As the man says, it gave him back the strength to live. Soon the doctors performed a cesarean section and delivered two babies to this world, weak, defenseless, but ready to live their lives in the love and care of their strong father.